Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new English lesson. Please get your literature anthology book ready and let's start. We are in unit two, so this is the new book. We will be starting using it for this uh, unit for almost five weeks. All right, let's start. Okay, this unit, so as we know, we're talking about our community. And today we'll be talking about um, jobs around town. All right. Okay, let's start. Page six, please. Genre, realistic fiction. Essential question. What jobs need to be done in a community? Read about a firefighter's exciting job. Genre, realistic oh. fiction. Essential question. What jobs need to be done in a community? Read about a firefighter's exciting job. What do you think uh, kind of job we'll be seeing in this selection? Very good. Firefighters. All right. The Red Hat. The Red Hat. By Eva Torres. Illustrated by Vincent Gwynn. All right. Illustrated means, as we said before, that picture or the drawing you see in, in your story. And in this story and this coming one, you're going to see that sometimes you predict what the story about or predict the job or predict what's going to happen. Like you guess what happened, although it's not written in your text, but from the pictures or the drawing or the illustration, you will understand. So that's why illustration and text are very important. Sometimes information is written. Uh, clearly to you in your text so you know they say all the information and sometimes they always keep some information hidden as you will try to think and get uh, the right idea so you know for example where the setting or who the character or what's the event events or what's happening next so let's start page eight please Jen has a new job. She gets a red hat. Jen has a new job. She gets a red hat. All right, so when you look at this, and they don't tell me what kind of job, she got a new job, but I know from the uniform, I know from the truck, I know from the hat that she will be working as a firefighter. She's gonna be work in a fire station, right? So she's getting a hat because we talked before, remember the construction uh, people when we say they have to wear uh, a hard uh, hat because they need to be safe and to protect themselves. Also, the firefighters have a special uniform. All right, so what do you think will happen? Of course, Jen will wear the hat. Let's go for page nine. She will use this hat a lot. Very good. Next page. Jen is in bed. There is a bell. She grabs the red hat. All right. Let's predict where do you think she's sleeping in? Yes, she's sleeping in a fire station. Very good. Although it's not written in a text, but I can tell because I see the bell and I see the pole and I see her hat next to her. So that's mean she was resting and now it's time for duty. She needs to start to go to work. Jen can get down like this. Go, Jen, go. There you go. Turn the page. Jen hops on. Go, Jen, go. Jen hops on. Go, Jen, go. So for this page, for example, if we're looking for, remember we talked about the character, the setting and the events. So the characters here, it's Jen. And where is she now? She's not on the fire station. She's outside the fire station. So that's the setting. And what's the events? She's getting to start work, like she's getting inside the, uh, her job. And of course, she's wearing the hat, as you see. It, 
It is a big fire. Jen can help. So again, the character is Jen and the setting, it's at a fire, as we see a fire in a building. And then she will help and they say, what's gonna happen? She helps put out the fire. Right, let's turn the page. The fire is out. Jen is wet. Thank you, Jen. The fire is out. Jen is wet. Thank you, Jen. It's very important to appreciate and uh, thank people for any kind of service they do for you. And of course, um, a job like uh, Jen in this story, it's very, very important job. But regardless what kind of job people do for you, so if you go to the grocery store and someone offer you help because you were looking for something, the most important thing, you need to greet them and thank them for their help. And you need to show them that you're grateful for the help they offered you or they gave you or the service even they did for you. And let's say you went to the librarian and you're looking for specific books that you're looking for, you need to read about um, geography or about space. So there are lots of books and you don't know where to start. So you go to the librarian and you will ask, I'm looking for um, books about dinosaurs or about space. So the librarian will check her laptops or computer and she'll tell you, or he will tell you it's um, an I-4 on a shelf, AC, whatever the, the, the setting for the library. So so this is also a helpful job for you because it saves time for you and it helps you to enjoy reading by finding your favorite book or your, the right book you're looking for. So the most important, anyone uh, offer any service for us or do any job for us, we have to um, show appreciation and thank, uh, being thankful for this and of course uh, thank them. As you see in this story, when they put the fire out, as you see the people in the back, like thanking the fire uh, department and the people who helped to do that. Let's go for the next page. Jen, Jen plays with Matt and Jill. There is a bell again. So we talk about the characters here. It's Jen and the setting. They're not now outside, they are inside the fire station or the firehouse. And then the events, as you see, when they say the bell rang, I know that it rings, and I know this is a bell because of the illustration or the picture. So this is the events that the fire bell rings. So sometimes as we say that um, illustration or the drawing or the picture help you to understand the text. Like I couldn't hear the bell, it's written, but also the illustration helped me to see it. As you see here, this is a uniform. Uh, as we know, they have to wear, um, uh, the firefighters have to wear um, a specific clothes and uniform to protect their body um, from the heat and from uh, the fire when they help people. Let's turn the page. Okay. Jen gets the red hat. She gets in the truck. Go, Jen, go. Very good. Next page. Rex is up there. He will not come to Jim. Jen will help. So, firefighters also sometimes help in a different way. Not, not always to put fire out or something, but sometimes, as we see now, cat all the way stuck on a tree, can get out, can get down, and Jen or people like Jen have the tools to help do this. Because of course it's dangerous for anyone to, you know, use a ladder, go up, but um, firefighters are trained to do this kind of service and help. Turn the page. Jen gets Rex. Jen gets Rex. Jim is glad. Rex is glad too. He has a new red bed. Thank you, Jen. So you see that this is the cat and the cat is sleeping on uh, using Jen's hat as a little home or a little house or bed. So uh, they're saying that Rex is glad too. 
So for example, the characters here, again, it's Jen, and the setting now, she's at the house, she helped people. And what's the event? Of course, Jen saves a cat from a, a tree as the cat was stuck up there. So in this story also, um, we learned that um, without even saying it in a text, but I can understand from the illustration that Jen's job is very excited. It's, it's not easy. It's, it's not hard, but it's doing a lot for the community. And um, it's fast. It's dangerous and it's very important. And as we see, they don't have a set time, like oh, I'm working from such time to such time. No, nope. they always have to be ready, even when she sleeps. She woke up because she heard the bell, that's mean uh, emergency, they need to go out. And that was when they went out the station to see the fire, to put, out, put the fire out in the, in the building. And we also learned that this, they wear special clothes to protect themselves. And we also saw something else that firefighters, they're, only, they're, they're not only uh, putting fire out or something, no, they help in a different way, like in this case, when they help Rex. Okay, let's learn about our uh, illustrator. Okay. Meet the illustrator. Vincent Gwynn says, I live near a firehouse in New York City, so I'm familiar with its sights and sounds. To illustrate the red hat, I just walked around the block and took photos that helped me draw the pictures. Illustrator's Purpose Vincent Gwynn wanted to show what the inside of a firehouse looks like. Draw something that is inside a firehouse. Label your picture. All right, so we made the illustrator, Vincent Gwen. Vincent, Vincent lives in uh, New York, as he explained that he has nearby a fire uh, firehouse. So of course he's familiar with the truck, how the truck looks like and um, the uniform and all that. So he wants to explain what's going on inside. So of course he put the stories, the words and that picture to let you know um, what in a firehouse inside looks like and what kind of job the people do and that's why he gave us a different examples of job not always uh, putting fire out so the part of the purpose that they ask you that to draw something that is inside the firehouse and label this is, could be a fun activity for you if you just put the video back or look at your story in a book and look which part you like and try to draw it okay so when we retell a story it's you use your own words to retell the red hat. So you tell, you're talking about who, so use your characters and where, what are they doing and what's the event, what happened to them. So this is, as we say, for example, with part of that, uh, when we talked about characters, we say, oh, Jen, and the setting was when she was outside and put a fire out, so at a fire, and what's the event? She helped uh, uh, put out a, a fire, as uh, we saw in this page. page uh, 13 or we also talked about when she was at a house when she was trying to help over here so the characters that she was the characters Jen and the setting at a house and what did she do she saves a cat from a, a tree as we saw she her, she as we saw her coming uh, going up to pick up the tree and then uh, to pick up that the cat and save the cat all right, so that's it for today. Thank you, first graders. Bye-bye.